those they're called Morse taper drill bits that goes up inside where that bar is it stops it rotating as such and just yeah. locks on the taper what you want to do is put him in there get a piece of wood wind him back up so I can reach it just give that a little tap on a blank bit of wood and that just that taper just holds it in oh, okay yeah That's the wooden dashboard that Chris has made us for the uh, Austin 10. So we knew the shape of it roughly um, through pictures on the internet. We've got all the gauges there that Dave's had restored. And obviously that I made up as a template that will go in there. So then basically you've got to transfer all of those markings onto your aluminium piece that will go in there behind that. Look. So that will fit like that. So, so far I've marked all those out, taught, learnt myself off the internet how to find the centre of a circle, which I never knew how to do. So transcribed your centre dots, marked it round with a pair of dividers, you know, like that. So, but I haven't got a hole cutter that big. So these ones have only got to come out a small piece, but these have got to come out a lot, so all I can do is dremel them. I don't want to try and I can cut it with the snips but it, it would bend it all up and I don't yeah. want it bent uh, so we get all that done cut all the holes in it and then we'll do what they call engine turning which looks like sort of fish scales yeah and that'll be all the way along but at the moment we're just putting the holes in so I've just got to do three holes here there's one for the choke that goes there but I haven't got the choke cable yet so I'll leave that as it is so we've just got to put bigger holes in here and then I'll take it off of that, clamp it in the vise and start dremeling it all out so they all fit. They're called Morse taper drill bits. All come in different sizes. Mm -hmm. MT1 up to, I can't remember. Um, that goes up inside where that bar is. It stops it rotating as such and just yeah. locks on the taper. What you want to do is put him in there. Get a piece of wood, wind him back up so I can reach it. Just give that a little tap on a blank bit of wood and that just that taper just holds it in oh, okay yeah okay i've just screwed it to a piece of wood to keep it all stable and you, if you're drilling through you won't hit the bed and things like that yeah So now we can get our Dremel. Right, so that one is our start button. We want that to go in there, yeah? Okay. So we'll just give him a little Dremel out. That's fine when that's locked up. Oh, that'll go straight away, look. So that's handy. And that one is your panel light switch but you've got to put a hole in it in that little locker there because that's a twist switch you need it to lock into the aluminium slightly <coughs> okay that's good so in our off position our locator pins at the top 
but it doesn't matter. So let's get it where it's binding. If we put it at the bottom, so that'll turn to wherever you want, you see? Yeah. So then we want to file a little, just a little square slot in that. Probably be enough. Parfait. So you can't turn. Yeah. So that's locked in there when you turn that, yeah? So that's good. Like I say, I can't do the choke hole yet because I haven't actually got a choke cable. These should all be the same size, but I tend to do them individually. That's our oil gauge. So we need to drum all that out now till that fits. Much, isn't it? I think it's just too much, isn't it? Maybe I can flat it out again. Shouldn't be too bad. Let's try it. No, that ain't gonna work. Worth a try. Want to take all the edges off because when you run try and do the engine turning, you don't want it to catch on anything. So, these are the lines that you're using to Just guide. try and follow them. Yeah, I mean, you're never going to get it accurate because I mean, the way they do it properly, they set it up on a CNC milling machine, yeah. So, you program in every dot that goes down, but I haven't got one of them, so we'll just do it by eye, see what it comes out like. If it looks really shit, we'll just turn it around the other way and polish the aluminium. <laughs> yeah, I suppose, realistically, should have done it first, but it's just going to smash it all up when you try and drill holes in it, you know? Because you can only guess the centre of it anyway. Got to love a bit of guesswork, haven't you? Just like the way you have to kind of work it out as you go along, don't you? Yeah. So what bit do you use then to make the... the that. What's that? Piece of half inch dowel. Yeah. 
with a bit of cork glued on the end of it. Okay. And then you'd use your valve grinding paste. Just follow your line doing your circles. Quite pleased with that. Yeah. Looks yeah, right, looks yeah. really good, doesn't it? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So one thing I've got to ask though, is how do you find the centre of a of a circle? Hmm. Right, so you got your circle. So what you do is you draw two lines, starting anywhere, knowing that they are the same length. So that I've done from there to there, look. It's 120 millimetres. So you drive that down there, scribe that down, and you want to mark halfway on that. So you get 60, yeah? Okay. And do another one, doesn't matter where it is, as long as you start from there and you go to 120. Yeah, okay. there's 120, and you want to go 60 mil again, half of it. So that's that, right? And then you want to come off of those at right angles, okay? Yeah, so that's that. That one. That is the centre of your circle. Ooh. Apparently. Well, it worked out all right, so it's a very easy way of finding it, isn't it? It's not bad, is it? It's 
thread's knackered. It's not going to hold, is Come it? on, die, the tension is mounting. <laughs> it's not going to hold the thread's at it. Um, so there you go, look. That's very roughly, obviously, with a bit of wire and a pencil, but that gives you the dead centre of a circle. Very good. Do you draw two straight lines? Just two straight lines, as long as they're the same length and you know the halfway. Yeah. Yeah, so we did 120 overall length. So touch the top of your ruler at a given point, doesn't matter where it is. It doesn't matter how long the line is, no. either. No. So you put that on there, that should zero point, and then you swing that round. Oh, so I see, yeah. Until okay. you get to 120 on the ruler. Yeah. Mark it halfway, right angles, same the other side. Gives you the centre of a circle. Very good. Next week on the workshop.